Hi guys, it's Lodi. I hope you all feel amazing. So today I'm going to talk about Christmas. So guys, as you know, it's December. So December is one of the biggest months for everyone, guys, everyone. So everyone is so excited to celebrate Christmas time because this year was so, so, so tough for everyone, guys. So I just want to talk about the Christmas representation and the Christmas and like all the things going on like Christmas, you know, like, you know, celebrate Christmas for sure, uh, all the meat around like the Christmas tree and sit in the table with all your family and blah 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 but also i want to talking about christmas present and all all the stuff around like giving present to people and all the stuff all the commercial stuff around christmas i found like it's like too 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 much so for myself this year seriously i'm not going to give any present and i'm going to explain you why so guys, first of all, why we celebrate Christmas? Um, we celebrate Christmas, obviously, as everybody know. I mean, it's nothing new. I'm not going to teach you anything. So we celebrate Christmas between the 24 and the 25 of December, especially the 25. Uh, the 25. So we celebrate Christmas the 25 because the 25 is the birth of Jesus Christ so who is jesus christ so guys jesus christ is the only song of uh, the only spiritual uh, song of god so why we celebrate christmas the 25 of december so we celebrate christmas the 25 of december because apparently apparently i wasn't not there but apparently uh, mary uh was announced her like a pregnancy so 25 of march so so 25 of march uh nine months later so chris born so has he born like nine months later uh they decide because no one really know like when the Christ really, 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 really born. So they decide to celebrate uh, Christmas the 25th of December just because uh, her mom, Mary, she was announcing that date of the 25th of March. That's why we celebrate uh, Christmas. So obviously Christmas is a, a pagan a celebration. Uh, Christmas is mean like sharing a good meat uh, with the family for that day sharing a good meat is not obligation if you don't eat like a foie gras and all this expensive stuff it's just mean like sit down with your family if you have a table if you don't have a table you can just sit down in the floor because right now everywhere in the world people celebrate christmas even if they're not like a christian so Muslim people, the Jewish people, everywhere in the world, people celebrate Christmas. Even in Africa, people celebrate Christmas. And also, you know, people exchange some gifts. So this uh, in Christmas is just uh, about like sharing love and spend time with the family. So people exchange some gifts uh, because uh, on that day, as I say, is the birth of the Christ so people usually when someone when a woman delivery she got to give she got to give for the baby so that's why as well on Christmas time people change some give uh, the Santa Christmas obviously is just um, I think it's just like uh, a fantasy of the human being it's the fantasy of the human being and now uh, since the 21th century everyone keep it and every and all the, the the country in the world just pretend of that fantasy so christmas obviously is just around like sharing like compassion and sharing love with people but everything about like prison or some stuff like that seriously is not obligation guys it's not obligation at Tool. So that's what I'm saying. I think the the, the, the the goal of Christmas, first of all, is just to sharing love. It's just to sharing love 
with your family just to sharing love with your children with your husband with your boyfriend with your mom or whatever is just to sharing love that is the magical star for christmas that is the goal of christmas because i thought like there is so much like commercial stuff on christmas and christmas become so much commercial and i found like it's kind of dommage of course because of that fantasy of the human being all the children in the world especially when we between like a one and seven some of them they still believe in the santa so it's nice for them because they still innocent it's nice for them to believe in something magical and it's nice for them to receive a present for the children between zero and seven for after seven uh, even after 8 and 12 and even for the adult people it's not an obligation it's not an obligation at all sharing love is mean like give something with your heart give a present with your heart but don't give a present to people just because you feel like that obligation that commercial stuff that fashionable stuff about christmas you supposed to give with your heart and I find like it's so damaged because so many like a sh even younger children between 8 and 12 and even teenager they just forgive about the values of stuff, about the values of Christmas, about the values of like what Christmas means, seriously. Christmas is not just about praise and like so many people, we just wait that moment of the year where we have like so much praise and like so much give and so much expense, expensive stuff. Christmas is not that. And I found like for myself is so much pressure because I got I got like a big family now, you know, I got all this two older sister, they got a child, my older sister and my side, she got three kids, my second one in Paris, she got one kid, and all my friends that married, they got a kid as well, they got a baby, so it's like so much people to give a present, like so much people, so it become like so much pressure for the adult to people, for the adult to people, not for the children, because the children, they still believe in that magical stuff, and they don't really spend, we spend for them, and we happy to spend for them, but I found like it's not supposed to be an obligation, seriously, because there is so many expectations around like a Christmas. I mean, go online and type like, it's obligation to give a gift to people for Christmas. Uh, online people don't really know, but I think it's everyone. It depends on your feeling, it depends on my feeling. For me, I'm just saying like I'm not giving present to any adult people any adult people for sure and i'm going to select the people i'm going to give present as well and i'm going to preserve myself i'm going to preserve my peace of mind i'm not going to make myself like stressful uh, like crazy running away like running to any shop or some stuff like that i was to do that and i think i give so much i give so much i give so much to people and I really hate like that expectation of people right now about receiving, receiving for Christmas. I think it's too much for me. I just gonna, you know, I don't want to make myself an impression. I'm just gonna enjoy a moment. I am godmother and I was to give so much praise and for the girl I am the godmother. And I think that is this expectation, expectation, expectation. I think for the people like me, like a single adult person without kids, always giving, giving to all my friend, baby, my friend, child is good. I love to give and I was giving with my heart. It was something true. It was not something to pretend to give while well, I'm giving you a present. Don't forget, I'll give you a present, you know? So it's so ridiculous because all my friends got a baby and now it's become like too much friend. I don't know, a really good friend, maybe six to eight of them, but imagine eight people if they all got a child, like give to anyone, that's a lot. So I just preserve myself about that. And I think my friend, eight of them, my true friend, they know me since so many, so many, so many years, they will understand like, 
I'm someone with a good heart. I'm not saying I'm not give to, to the children the present for Christmas. After seven years, it's not obligation to give like uh, any gift. And even like for the teenager people, even like for the adult people, as I say, if your financial situation hello you, of course you can give a present to anyone, but you're supposed to give with your heart. You're supposed to give and don't feel like it's obligation. Don't feel like it's an expectation of order. You give with your heart. You give because you want to give. Don't give because you feel that pressure. Don't give because you feel like it's fashionable to give a present to people, especially the teenager people, even not teenager, you know, some child, they ask like some, so some some toys they ask like some stuff about like you don't know five hundred even six hundred dollar or pounds that's a lot for a little child after seven years that's a lot because the children they don't know the values of money they don't know the values of money they just ask stuff but they don't know that's why it's important to teach children the values of stuff. It's really important to teach them the values of stuff and explain to them like it's not free, people work for that and money is quite, you know, you need to work hard to get money. And I think the children, they're not stupid as well, seriously, the children is so clever, guys. The children are so clever and, and I think the children are so like compassionate, they're so compassionate and they, they got a big heart and they understand perfectly, they understand perfectly if you explain to them stuff. It mean like if you don't have enough money, it's not even about like having enough money or no. Some people it's about values. It's just about values and giving values to the child. That's why some people don't uh, like uh, don't give too much present. And for me, it's become a values, and I take my power to say like I'm not going to give to people even for the teenager people any like a gift for christmas anymore it's about values it's about teach values to the young uh, children in the early age is to give them a values it mean like on that period of the year the christmas the present is not obligation at all and for them it teach them as well like every christmas they not supposed it's not obligation to give to them every christmas a present i want to teach them that i want to teach to my nephews that it's not obligation sometimes you can get you can even got a present for any reason but it's not because it's Christmas. They supposed to have like a thousand present. They supposed you supposed to spend the money and buy expensive stuff. It's good to sit down with them, explain to them why you're not going to buy that, why they're not going to get that, and they perfectly understand. They so so intelligent. They so they so be so compassionate. Seriously, they so compassionate. They they so understanding the children. They when they like really like little even between like a zero and seven even like a seven like and twelve if you sit down with them and explain to them stuff seriously they really understand and they really compassionate and i think the children what they want for christmas say what they want in general is just love is just to be loved by them parent is just being loved by them sister and their brother is just being loved by them grandfather is just to be in love by their auntie and uncle that's why they want it's the only thing they want children any children in the world they don't need to have like a thousand a thousand and thousand present they don't expect to you to spend like crazy money but they expect to you that they expect to you that if they, you don't teach them in the good way if you don't uh, never explain to them like stuff if you never explain to them stuff, sit down and speak to them quietly and blah, blah, blah. 
of course they will ask you they don't give a shit they will ask you the most expensive stuff and they want it if you don't teach them perfectly if you don't speak to them like really really in the, not like loud if you don't you speak to them like quietly look at them eyes and you know hug them and explain to them stuff trust me they will really really understand and in general every day every week if you to give to them affection love seriously trust me there will be so much understanding and they, they even will buy a present for you for christmas seriously so it's just to say like christmas is just about sharing it's sharing love it's just about that of course i'm not like anti like present i'm not like anti present i'm not like anti gift for the children i'm not like anti gift for people but it's just to say like you know there is any there is not obligation there is not obligation the obligation for christmas is to give love to people if to give love to your children if to give love to your husband, if to give love to your boyfriend, if to give love to your mom, is to give love to your dad. This is the expectation and obligation for Christmas. It's not even for Christmas. This is the obligation for every day is to give love to people, even to your colleagues. This is like the expectation of Christmas. So it's just to say, guys, seriously, is this yours? I don't give a shit. Seriously which present i got i don't got any present yet <laughs> my nephew he won't like this playstation he's seven years he wants this playstation so i think now it's about four or five hundred pounds or five hundred euro or four hundred euro so i'm going to split the bill with my sister i'm going to send her the money and for my friend i'm going to stay in her place mm, i don't have the gift yet i don't know what i'm going to buy and for my little niece in marseille i'm looking for a door online so and that's it for my best friend baby no present for my old nephew no present so they will be okay they will be okay seriously i'm just gonna call them explain them stuff they will they will understand because they, they got like so much present in the past by me i buy so much stuff for them and I, they, they know how much i love them i think is and uh, it's so much important for them it's so much important for them it's just to say like christmas should be not like commercial should be not like a commercial celebration guys so well, guys i hope you really really get what i'm saying and i wish you seriously good luck for the christmas shopping i wish you good luck if you're going to shop like crazy if you got like like two if you got like a lot of nephew and niece between like zero and seven yeah you going to spend a lot of money but if you don't have any nephew if you you just have like a mom and and dad and a cousin and some stuff like that if you as i say if your financial uh part allow you of course you can give present for christmas if you give to people with your heart without obligation without feeling that obligation and if your financial uh part follow you of course you can people like expect all the time like a present 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 like crazy and after that they don't like them present and they're just going back the day after christmas to you know to change their present or to take money back i found like it's disgusting seriously because when people spend their energy to give you a present and you go back to the shop to take the money back is so disgusting seriously so guys i wish you the best i hope you really really enjoy that subject and i wish you all the best and i wish you so much love for christmas thank you so much if you like this subject you can just put your spam hub if you want to hear about my next subject and help me to put my youtube channel in my hub you can just subscribe right now merry christmas guys i wish you a lot of love i sent you a lot of love thank you so much